Okay, everybody just give us one second. We're just waiting for Ellie. Ellie is back. All right, now we're just gonna test audio. Can everybody, um, can everybody he hear me? Okay. All right, I think we have everybody here. Hello, Ellie. Hello. Hello, Marianne. Um, you guys are unmuted. Uh, can, can you speak so I can see if your mics are working? Hi. Oh, I can't hear you, Marianne. Um, let me see if it's me. One second. Speakers. Um, all right. Um, I think we're going to, I'm, I'm going to restart the stream. I think we're having a little bit of problems. Uh, try, try me now. Ah, gotcha. I can hear you. I had to unmute myself. Okay. Oh, okay. Ellie, can I, can, can you speak? Can I, let me see if I can hear you. <laughs> uh, she, she froze. Um, you're going to uh, be, you might be having problems, Ellie, because of your internet. So just, uh, you can turn off your video and uh, you'll have a better stream. All right, I can kind of hear you. Mm. Okay, I can hear you. Welcome, welcome all. Welcome everybody in Puerto Piasco Fencing Community. Uh, we have with us today, Ellie Balderrama and Marianne Arminio. And they're gonna be talking to us a little bit of uh, what they've been doing during this quarantine and also a little bit of uh, Bella Sirena and Las Conchas. Um, we'll start here with Marianne Arminio. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, what do you do and what have you been doing during this quarantine? Well, Manny, um, I am uh, the assistant broker at JMP Realty. I also have a degree in interior architectural design from California College of Arts and Crafts in San Francisco. So during the pandemic, I've kind of tapped back into my um, artistic skills. I've been doing some architectural drawing for a seawall out in front of uh, the Bay of Serena. And uh, I've been trying to stay in contact with my clients, uh, making sure that they're safe and all their questions have been answered. So. I've been doing real estate for the last 30 years and I've worked all over from California, Hawaii, Nevada, Oregon, and now I'm loving Rocky Point, so. <laughs> Thank you for sharing that with us. Okay, Ellie is back here. She's, can you hear us, Ellie? I don't know so if you'll find, you'll, but I have to visit. That works. You'll find that when you're in Puerto Penasco, internet sometimes works and sometimes it just doesn't. So, uh, Ellie, if you can hear me, the question for you is uh, tell, us a little, tell us a little bit about yourself, what you do, and how long have you been li living here in Rocky Point? Hi, guys. Ellie Valderrama here. I've been living in Rocky Point for going on four years, four magical, wonderful years. I moved here from Los Angeles, California. Uh, to live the beach life, and I'm so glad that I made that decision. As far as a, a real estate agent, um, a total of about 15 years now, that's um, the four years here, and a few years in California, and a few years as a licensed agent in Arizona, and I'm currently a broker. I just started my own branch, Vida Playa Realty, so. Exciting, new adventure. <laughs> Thank you. And, and of course, we've all seen Ellie in her YouTube videos, and um, she's everywhere. She posts about living here in Penasco. Um, let's go back here with Marianne, and she's going to talk to us a little bit about uh, Bella Sirena, what it offers, and uh, uh, just uh, give us a little bit of a tour of it. So, um, yeah, just t tell us a little bit of Bella Sirena. I think Bay of Serena is one of the most unique properties on Sandy Beach for um, condo uh, villa complexes because we sit on 14 acres of lush landscaping. We have 625 feet of beach in the front of the property. 
Uh, we have five uh, swimming pools, two with rock infinity edges. We have um, hot tub areas and barbecue areas, and a nice walking trails. So it's like a little tropical paradise. I call it my little slice of heaven. Um, I've been at Bea Serena now for, I think, 10 years. So not only do we have all the lush landscaping that gives that nice tropical feel, we have, um, we have a wonderful gym. We have tennis courts, bocce ball. We have um, a grand lawn and some small lawn areas that you could play um, hacky sack and just gather with friends. And we have um, a small putting green. We do have um, a 24 hour uh, guard gate with roaming security. And the Bay of Serena uh, is basically five towers and then we also have, in the towers, we have one bedrooms, two bedrooms, three bedrooms, and four bedrooms. So once you get up to a three bedroom and a four bedroom, you're in a penthouse. Um, what's really nice about our property is all of our uh, bedrooms have sea views and they go right out to the balcony. And then if you wanted um, something more traditional like a house, we have villas and we have garden villas. Uh, and then we also have beach villas. So the beach villas are, um, they're five bedrooms, five bathrooms, two car garage, rooftop balconies, and then uh, a nice patio that's right on the beach. Our garden villas are pretty much set up the same way, but they're three bedrooms, three bathrooms, again with the garages, rooftop balconies, and then um, patios. All of our villas and our penthouses have private hot tubs and barbecues. That's really nice. Um, we basically have something that suits um, anyone's budget. So we go from about 250,000 to about 1.5 million, just depending on where you wanna be in the property. I totally recommend um, that you take a look at Bea Serena. It is a very unique property and all of our homeowners um, our vacation rental uh, folks that come and spend time with us always have a great time. If they stay once at Bay of Serena, they come back over and over again. And then some of them just stay renting and other people say, I just have to buy a place. So I'm Marianne Arminio at JMP Realty and I live, work and play at the Bay of Serena. And at the end, uh, we'll have a little video that you prepared for us about Bay of Serena. We'll, 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 uh... We'll show it. Um, well, let's go back with uh, Eli Balderrama. Um, you specialize a little bit more in Las Conchas area. So, so tell us a little bit of this area of, of Puerto Penasco, Eli. So yeah, Las Conchas is a residential beach community. It stretches out for about six miles. And it's quite beautiful because it's very clean. Um, it has nothing but beautiful homes. And the beach changes from area to area, from section to section. The majority of the properties in Las Conchas are residential homes. They're actually pretty large homes. However, there's a few developments that are condos as well. Thank you, thank you. And, um, question also, um, what, what has uh, Las Conchas been doing now that the guard gate is not there when it comes to security, especially during this quarantine? From what I understand, well, I've, I lived in Las Conchas from the moment I lived moved here. So for the past four years, I was living there up to just like a couple weeks ago. <laughs> But I lived there for a long time and I was there through the whole process because I lived really close to the entrance of Las Conchas. So I saw the movement and I saw the difference between the before and after the guard gate. So the guard gate, you know, really was a way to kind of give a sense of security and monitor a little bit just from having cars either go in there super fast or also just kind of be more on top of you know who's coming in and out that gate was removed a few months ago and at the beginning 
it was interesting because it turned into a little drag race. Oh, wow. <laughs> it turned into the begin to where people were having drag races at the beginning, and I was almost like out there with the flag, like ready, set, go. It was crazy. I wasn't, but I coulda. <laughs> And then I think people, and then the dust settled and things just kind of started to get back to normal. They upped the uh, security that they had there on the side of the entrance. They upped the number of people that are working and I think they got a couple other motorcycles or something. I'm not quite sure, but it felt like they were patrolling the area more. And then some owners took responsibility for the security of their own home because if you really think about it, it wasn't. 100% feasible for these individuals to cover six, 700 properties in this one area. That's just not feasible. So some, some owners took responsibility um, to protect their home and hired the local alarm company, which is incredibly efficient. And they're on top of it. Um, if I may say it's uh, SAS. Uh, they're very good. Actually, one of my clients has me as their contact. And anytime that little bell goes off, they're like on it. They're calling me all the time. So there's there's methods that you could take if security is an issue. Um, I would say that the at the beginning, it was a little bit different. But the dust seemed to have settled and things seem to be uh, better. So in... It's really, it's really a beautiful place. I've always felt safe. I've always loved living there. And um, it's just different, you know, you just go out to the beach and because the homes are so spread out and they're not on top of each other, it's more residential. You have mm -hmm. a lot of room. You have a lot of room. You can go in beach forever and ever and ever and ever. So that's the good thing about Rocky Point. Um, everybody has a different style that, of beach experience that they want to have on different days. So if you want to go to an area where it's more lively and you have everything come to you like palapas and mangos and horses and get your braids done and get a henna tattoo, maybe a little boyfriend or two, um, there's an area where that happens already. <laughs> and if you want to have more just like your family and you want to bring your own things and you just want to have more space, uh, Las Conchas is an exceptional place. Like I said, it's six, seven miles of beach. So it's really wonderful over there. Thank you for that, that information. A lot of people here saying hi to everybody. Um, normally I have somebody helping me uh, with the comments. So sorry, sorry everybody, I can't, I can't uh, say hi to everybody, but let's see, we got uh, Scott Dolinari, Russ Black, Donia, Tain Fontaine, Artemisa, Adriana Hardwood, Scott, uh, we have a, quite a few people saying hi to everybody. Awesome. Yeah, hey. even uh, Donia says uh, you're, you're cracking her up, Ellie. <laughs> <laughs> hi, Donia. Hi, everybody. So let's go back to, to Bea Serena and let's talk a little bit about um, the measures that Bea Serena <laughs> has taken during the quarantine. Okay. When it comes to safety. What's next? What's next, Manny? What else do you want to know? Oh, I'm, I'm asking uh, Ma Marianne. We're going back to Bea Sirena. Uh, just asking her what measures Bea Sirena has taken during this quarantine and for the future. Yes. So I think the, um, the really nice thing that Bea Sirena has done is we have um, not laid off any of our employees. Um, we have kept them all employed. Some of them just stay home and we're still paying them. So that's really great. We're taking care of our, our family there. Um, the main thing that we do is we take uh, everyone's temperature before they come in the gate. We make sure that they're wearing a mask, gloves. Um, all of our workers are masked and gloves. We shut down our pools, our beach, our gym, and our swim bar restaurant um, at the first notice of the of the pandemic. So um, as homeowners, we are still allowed to walk around the property and get a little exercise. Um, we do have, we do like um, whoever's doing that to either keep social distancing or wear a mask. The other thing that we're doing is we're sanitizing all the public spaces um, to keep everything on clean. Uh, let's see, what else are we doing there? Um, we are um, 
We were doing some capital improvements during this whole shutdown. So we're taking advantage of this slow time that normally would be our very busy time with vacation rentals and homeowners down at Van Serena. So what we're doing is um, we've, we're um, replacing uh, some of our sidewalks. We're painting the buildings, the railings. We're working on some design projects. Um, I'm kind of spearheading the design projects. So I've already done the seawall. We're going to start, um, I'm going to start on the design of uh, our bathrooms down at the lower Palapa by our beach pool. So um, just, just doing some maintenance. We've also offered up some special maintenance packages for the homeowners so they can do some deep cleaning um, while they don't have guests staying. And then we started some protocols for when we do start back up and we have visitors. So there'll be a protocol for the maids to a checklist. So the maids will use that checklist to clean every property and they'll go through that checklist and make sure it's been totally sanitized to a certain, to um, uh, good standards. So I, I think that pretty much covers it. We're just trying much. to keep everyone safe and, and uh, you know, keeping everyone happy too, you know? Yeah. I do, a, I do a lot of real estate photos there and every time I go in, they always check my temperature. I think that's, that's pretty, pretty neat. Um, there's a few resorts doing it and then uh, basically and as one of, one of those that, that uh, secures anybody that goes in has to be checked for their, their temperature. Um, oh, there's Ellie. Hi. Hi. <laughs> So, um, uh, what have you heard about reopening uh, the resort? What, what's, what's the news on that front? Because we hear a lot of news all over the place. And here's the thing about the news, it, it changes constantly. Yeah. What have you heard? Do you want me to talk or Ellie to talk? Uh, I was, I was uh, asking Mary Ann, but uh, yeah. let's, let's go with you, Mary Ann, about the resort. What, what's the idea of reopening? Uh, I think that we're, we're, we're kind of waiting for the health department to give us the okay to open our pools. And what we thought was, we have about maybe 25 homeowners at Vea, give or take. And we thought that we could even do a sign-in sheet, keep social distancing, so then we could open up our pools. No outside guests quite yet. But we're waiting for the health department to do that. Um, I'm hearing that somewhere around the 15th, we will step into uh, a lightening up. I guess that would make us maybe a phase two mm -hmm. where we could open up um, the gym and the pools, but still not have uh, any outside visitors. And then maybe towards the end of June, um, the resort will be open with certain protocols. Um, we're allowed, I think, 35% occupancy uh, for guests mm -hmm. and somewhere around June 22nd. Okay. Uh, what have you heard, Ellie? I, I know that Las Conchas is an area of rentals and it's individually owned, so it's a little bit harder to maybe enforce certain uh, guidelines like in a resort. But what kind of guidelines have you heard of uh, maybe uh, you as a rental company and other people renting that are going to um, start uh, Im Im implementing? Well, it's the same. The same as Marianne said everyone in the city is you know um, gonna be following guidelines um, the beaches have been closed for quite some time in Las Conchas so I guess when they start letting people in they're gonna do it in alignment with the beach openings because it's really up to the city when they're gonna let people start coming in so they can start vacationing um, and then I know that some companies are already receiving reservations for future dates. I think some of them already started receiving uh, reservations for late June in hopes that, you know, people can come out. It's, um, it's really up to the city, but they're going to follow the same guidelines that are provided for everyone. Also, um, I forgot to mention all the properties that are available in Las Conchas. I did want to say that there's... One good thing that's come, I mean, there's a few good things, but regarding to real estate that's coming out of this uh, situation is, you know, there were some price drops. There were some price drops, and that's something that people could take advantage of kind of across the board. Hold on. 
there's a lot of banging outside. Give me a second. <laughs> <laughs> okay. um, what about with you, Marianne? What, how, have the prices dropped? Are you staying the same? Uh, we've, we've pretty much stayed stable. Um, we have one unit that has a price drop and then, but it was kind of overpriced to begin with. So now it's kind of in line with where it should be. Okay. We do have a couple new properties that have come online. So we have total probably 15, maybe 17 available properties. 17. Yeah. Okay. Um, going back to you, Ellie, um, you were talking about the price drop. Um, yeah. So in Las Conchas, um, well, here's what happened. I saw, you know, the, the agents notify each other. We notify each other when people start dropping prices and it started to sprinkle a little bit more at the beginning when they started closing the beaches and things like that. But I do believe that maybe even if the, la even if the prices don't change on, on some properties, we don't know how flexible the sellers will be. And so I totally good time because um, a lot of sellers will make it more flexible than you would think. And for Las Conchas, there's a lot of inventory. There's really great opportunities. Um, do you guys hear Gizmo? Okay, wait, I know this is not appropriate, but you know it's me. The little thing was in the middle of the street. I thought it was like, it looked like a drunk rat. And I was like, what the hell is that? On the middle of the street. Street, you know, and I'm driving this big car, and I get closer, dude. My heart starts to break. It's a baby can, and I get close enough on the street, and I was like, "Here, kitty!" And he walks up to my hand. He fits in my palm, and then I find out he can't see. He oh. can't see. So then I take him to the airport. <laughs> to the salon and we're like trying to figure out what to do and anyways i've already bathed them and i gotta take them to the vet when That's he opened so cool. his eyes at the hair salon i was the first person he saw anyway oh, wow okay <laughs> that's a cool that's a cool side story side story so regarding las conchas you guys um there's actually a lot a lot of wonderful opportunities. So condos, there's 27 condos listed in Las Conchas that start from 164 and up. Okay, homes, we have 49 homes that are currently listed right now. And they start from um, 139 for a mobile home, which I know it's highly unusual, but it's there. Um, and then for, you know, other homes, 17, you may not be aware. And then we have 42 lots. 42 opportunities for you to build your dream house. What? And some of these lots, dude, they're only like 30K. It's unbelievable. So if you want a, you know, a maintenance-free situation with the condo, we can get you long-term financing, actually, 15-year financing. And if you want a house where no one tells you what to do and you can dance all night, we got houses. And if you want to build your own dream house, we got that too. So I just thought I'd share that. Well, there is a curfew in Las Conchas. I know that, right? Yeah, but you won't have someone telling you to stop singing in your balcony like they do in some spaces. So for, for Marianne, we got a question from you from Scott. Scott Kea says, how do you enforce a 40% occupancy, gu occupancy guideline when you have no control of individuals of their rental properties through BRBO and Airbnb? Yes, I'm on the board. I'm the president actually uh, uh, on the HOA board and we are trying to figure out how we're going to, to um, uh, uh, comply with that standard. Um, we have our next HOA meeting in a, about a week and we'll be discussing how, what it, we're, how we're gonna follow this protocol that they're setting up for us. Um, maybe we have to do a rotation, you know, cause we have not, at, at Bay of Serena, we have probably four or five uh, management companies that uh, really handle our properties. And then we have um, Airbnb properties. So um, maybe we do them on a rotation. So they're on a rotation up so we don't go over our 40%. We're still trying to figure it all out. It's a new world. Yeah. Yeah. 
Um, I can see it's it, that's going to be quite the quite the monster to to uh, conquer. Um, oh, I thought there was another question for Ellie, but no, just Russ Black is saying, Ellie, you are a nut. So, <laughs> nice, nice one, Russ. <laughs> Uh, he, um, I'm a what? A, a, a nut. <laughs> it's, 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 it's Russ being Russ. Um, <laughs> all right, Scott says thank you for for that answer. Um, I guess one one of the last questions I was going to ask is, uh, I'll start with Ellie. What makes Las Conchas a unique place in Penasco? Do you think? It's like living in a foreign film. <laughs> I couldn't believe what it was like to live there. It's very bizarre if you're coming from an outside, every, you know, a regular writing city like Los Angeles. It's very bizarre, but in the most beautiful way. Uh, first off, Las Conchas in general, general only has maximum like five rows so really doesn't even matter where you buy in las conchas you're still within a short walk of the beach it doesn't matter where you buy which is beautiful um for the amount of homes that are there and it's still to be clean there's no trash anywhere i thought the beach is so diverse you know there's some areas where you get the crab they're like all hiding because they're coming and you know they didn't get the notice and then you have other areas where it's literally a cliff like the side of malibu you go to section five and you can have a house on the cliff and it's like a drop down it's spectacular in the same community and then you go further down and it's very smooth like it is in Sandy Beach where you are more likely to see uh, more sea lives. And then, you know, the diversity of the beach in Penasco for those who, who are not familiar, it's so incredible to be, to, to experience a beach where you can go and some days it looks like ice, where it is literally so still. There is there's no movement that it looks like ice. It's the most incredible experience. And then you get close and you see the fish are just half of them. And then you walk into the water and it's so still. You can see every little hair on your toe. Not that I have hairs on my toes, but if I did, I could see them. That's the point. And right. there's other days where there's all this movement and the colors and it's just, and it's overall very clean. I think people are becoming more conscientious and they pick up bags if there's any trash. Uh, I think visitors are more likely to pick up after themselves. You know, in the later years, I feel like that's been more common. So I can go on and on about this beach because I used to swim in the ocean before breakfast. And that's something that I never did before. And I've been surrounded by fish. I I've been close to stingrays where I almost gave them a pet name. Like, like I've seen it all. You're, you're cutting out a little there. Who froze? Oh, sorry. Oh, no, no, yeah. no that's okay. Um, but we heard, mo we heard um, I think, uh, all of it. Um, Donia is, telling, is, is reminding you about the estuary, too the estuary in the back of, at the end of section five, right? Yes. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Very cool, yes. all right. The estuary, exactly. That's another very unique feature of Las Conchas where they raise friends. Um, um, CEDO out there, which is an organization that specializes in informing people about natural life so that's really good too okay let's go with marianne um why what makes bay arena unique in puerto Penasco? i think what again what makes bay arena unique Hello. is it is um it is a excuse me one second yeah <laughs> 
Can you hear us? I can. Ellie? All right, let's, sorry about that, Marianne. Continue. <laughs> yeah. So uh, what makes Beta Serena unique is that um, yes. we are, we are yes, not- I can hear you. We are not a hotel. We are a, con a, 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 a condo community that uh, we allow vacation rentals in. So you could own, you could be a, a full-time resident there. You could be a part-time resident there and have a second home, or you could have your property in a vacation rental, all with um, security, um, low maintenance. We have um, all hand-laid uh, stone streets, which is really unique, and all of the greenery. I don't think there's another property that has as much vegetation as Bay of Serena does. So we have all underground utilities. So we have uh, high-speed internet, water, cable, garbage. It's all paid for in your HOA. All you pay for is your electric bill. So I, I think that's really nice. You could just lock up and walk away, you know, if you're, you're part-time or if you're um, using it as vacation rental. Um, I think the other thing that is really nice about Bay of Serena is every property, no matter what building you're in, it has a view. It has a view of the sea. Some have better views than others. Um, some look all the way down to Old Port and on, you could see all the way to Lost Conscious and, and Bird Island, you know, depending on uh, what perspective and floor you're on. We also have views of the new home pier uh, that is under construction stall, I'm gonna say. <laughs> uh, you know, and, and we do have a wonderful sea life that you see. So if the whales are in, you could see the whales. We have dolphins that are swimming every morning. Uh, lately, during the pandemic, we've had um, the ospreys, you know, they, they nest on some of our antennas and um, we've had even um, uh, some other birds that usually aren't around and they're hanging out on the beach, you know. So pretty cool things. I think that Bay of Serena, for me, is like um, no medicine, no doctor can prescribe. It is very special. Awesome. Well, thank you very much, uh, both of you, for having you. Um, we're going to have the final thoughts, but with your final thoughts, please tell us how uh, we can get in contact if anybody's interested, be it Bay of Serena, Las Conchas, or anything else, uh, how they can get in contact with, with uh with you. Ellie, um, final thoughts and how do we get in contact with you? Ellie? <laughs> I think, I think it, uh, she connected. yeah. All right. Marianne, uh, how, yeah, she disconnected ah. her internet. Tell us, uh, Marianne, how, uh, any final thoughts and how can we, uh, uh get in contact with you? Yes, um, my final thought again is I live, work, and play at Bay of Serena. So uh, you could contact me always on my cell phone at 541-281-5751. That is a U.S. number that works perfectly down in, um, in Rocky Point. You could also, if you forget my phone number, you could just... Um, call the Bay of Serena uh, or go up to the guards and say, I'm trying to get a hold of Marianne and um, they'll call me. I'll come down to the gate meet you, give you a tour. You can always go into our rental office that is up by the front gate across from the guards um, when we reopen. And I always have cards and flyers in there with an inventory. Um, I basically live in Sea Tower. So, uh, you know, you can look me up, <laughs> 501C. I'm right there at Bay of Serena. Um, so who better, to, who better to ask about Bay of Serena than someone who lives there full time, been there for 10 years. I'm on the, I'm on the board and been on the board for four years now. So um, I love the Bay of Serena. It is my slice of heaven. Thank you and Thank have, you. stay safe everyone. And uh, hopefully we'll see you soon. Bay of Serena awaits you. Thank you. Uh, Ellie Bararama, uh, final thoughts and how can we get in contact with you? Okay, so you guys can reach me, um, Ellie de la Playa at gmail.com, or you can call myself 323 308 5688, or you can look for me on YouTube, Ellie de la Playa, and find me there. And final thoughts 
Yeah, focus on positive thoughts, everybody. Imagine the beach is packed with people healthy. And just imagine everybody just throwing their masks away because this thing is gone and we're all healed. Those are my final thoughts. Your final thoughts? Good, good final thoughts. Thank you, both of you, for participating, for helping us, for keeping a positive vibe and, and, and being part of Peñasco, being part of the community. Um, we're going to, we're going to say goodbye here. We're going to la leave a video that, uh, Marianne, uh, made about Bea Sirena and we're going to just leave that plane. Uh, but everybody else we're going to leave. So we're just going to, we're going to say goodbye to everybody that was listening to us. Thank you girls. Have Thanks, a great day. It's been a, it's been a great experience. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you, Manny. Thank you, Marianne. So I'm going to leave this plane and or the edge of the beach because we're not allowed to go to the beach there's some of our beachfront villas then we have E tower then D tower then C tower move on to B and A tower now I'm just gonna stroll through the property this is our big lawn we have our horseshoe. There's some more beach villas. We come out here in the sunset and uh, watch the sunset go down. You got Old Port in the background there. Very nice, beautiful day today. The weather is absolutely spectacular. Yes. This first pool is what we call the beach pool. It's wonderful. It's cascading, two levels. And then we have our our Palapa where we hang out and play cards and uh, yeah, just get out of the sun. It's a good thing. Just going to try to walk a little faster. We have our pools closed right now because we are all in what I call lockdown. Quarantine. So no swimming for us at Bea, unfortunately. Our beautiful Bella Serena. Excuse me. Hold that camera up here. I'm coming up the stairs. We have the the palapa in the background there, and we have a building in the background. Yes, it's a little nice shady little spot. It's a very cool structure. Look the way this thing's built. I just love that, huh? Ooh, we have some more of our interior villas in the background there. And then I'm going to come up here. We have some showers so you can shower before you go to the swimming pool when the pools are open. Yes. Pan around. And voila, our beach pool. Let me get to the other side of it and then you'll just... So wonderful because you can just be hanging in this pool and gazing at the Sea of Cortez. Now look at this view, folks. Pool C. Oh my gosh. Hmm. It's a sparkling day. We have a big tides because we have big full moons. Just gonna pan around. Ooh, yep. Coming on to another nice little grassy area. A little nice table to hang out and eat a little lunch or whatever. Got to go underneath the barrier. Whoop. Interior villas. We have 16 through 11 on this side. And then on, on the opposite side you have uh, 10 through 5. It's just paradise here. I have to say, Bella Serena is the finest condo community on all of Sandy Beach because we have 14 acres of lush landscaping, five swimming pools, nice green grass area to hang out on, a little bocce ball area. Yes. Now coming up to, uh, I call it the main pool. On, at the main pool we have, uh, actually this is a little bocce ball area. People play ha um, uh, hacky sack, bocce ball, all kinds of horseshoes in here. I think there's 
I don't know, maybe 15 or 30 of us homeowners here. That's it. So, it's very quiet. Just a nice little pan of the landscaping. And you can hear the waterfall, the main pool. I'll just be quiet for a moment. Just wish I could take a dip. I'm hoping in another another week they'll let us swim. But right now we're not allowed to swim. This is the lower part of the main pool. And then I'm gonna kind of come up and around. We have um, the swim, swim up bar and lounge and restaurant. It's all closed. It's all closed. They don't even do any takeout. They're supporting uh, other restaurants right now. So. We have all the furniture put away. We usually have some nice tables out here. And umbrellas. There's one of our maintenance guys cleaning the pool. We're getting lots of work done around the pools now. Hola, good morning, buenos dias. There's our swim-up bar, and I'm going to go around. This is our, our stand-up bar. We have a little bit of furniture out, but most of the furniture, as you can see, is hunkered away inside. It's where we have our bands. Aqua de Coco plays there. Love it when they're playing. Come around the back side. This is all the kitchen in here. But around the back side we have restrooms. Coming around the other side of the pool. This is actually all the service area for um, for swim. Swim restaurant. Pool's a little bit drained right now. We're putting in new skimmers. Good time to do it since no one's here. You don't have to shut it down. So yep, they're working on it. We got lots of little projects going on here at Bay, keeping the property up really nice. You can see that this is just a huge swimming pool. Cascading waterfalls. We have this, um, yeah, it's not a hot tub, it's actually like a kiddie pool there. And then it cascades to this lower shallow pool. So. Really nice, good spot for the kids, this whole area here. Swim swim bar is a good spot for the adults. This pool, um, actually anyone who could swim, swims in this one. It goes from about a foot to about four feet. You know, pan back around, we have some more showers. And pan over and walk over to the gym. Our gym is closed too. Maybe that'll open up soon. A little close-up shot of uh, C building. Don't want to turn the camera, but it's big, 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 big building. 13, 13 stories. Ooh. All of our other buildings are eight stories. So let me pan over to the gym. Isn't our architecture just beautiful here? This natural stone fascia. Ooh, big beams. Can't get inside to show you, but uh, if you go to any one of my listings, you could see. Maybe put the camera up to the window and you could peep in there. Here's the weights. We got, we got machines. And then we have our aerobic side. More machines and aerobics. So, okay, I'm gonna cruise over. Uh, I'm gonna come past what we call our spa building. We don't have any spa services in there. What we do is our homeowners meetings right now. Uh, maybe. Uh, Next year, we'll be able to get to uh, building out this whole spa building. 
and doing some really nice uh, stuff, maybe a homeowner's lounge or, I don't know, we're going to put it in front of the GA to see what they say. Of course, that's the General Assembly, talking short term. Yeah. Coming back around to that main pool, which is actually two pools in one. And I'm walking over to our barbecue hot tub areas. We have two mirrored areas. There's uh, more workers. Buenos dias. Yeah. You're on film. <laughs> There's a shot of B building. Eight stories. Going down the streets, you could see the villas. We have all cobblestone streets. One of our villa owners is uh, doing a really nice, um, a nice job. They're redoing their patio. It's gonna look beautiful when it gets done. And of course, our pool is closed again. We, have, as I was saying, we have two mirror image pools. Um, so. This is a, a pool that's between A building, right there. And I'm going to pan around. In the background you can see our parking lot area. We also have underground parking underneath all the buildings. And then this is B building again. Hope I'm not making anyone dizzy. It is Saturday morning. <laughs> we have our spa area. And I'm gonna just go through the rope because uh, I wanna show you this wonderful spa. So we have two of these areas. Um, one is between, as I said, this one that I'm filming, sorry, and between A and B building, and then we have a mirror image of it between D and E building. And here's a little barbecue area. Bring your charcoals down. People gather down here. They bring their chairs. So, another shot of C building. There's the entrance to the parking garage. Coming around to the back side of our spa building. And you can see that's a uh, D and E building in the background, Esmeralda's way in the background, and the Sonoran Sun is way over there. Okay, I'm gonna actually head down. This vegetation's beautiful. It's like a secret garden. Back side of the spa. Towel hooks there, hang your towel on. Spas are all on timers. Come down here, you turn the timer on, and go underneath our do not enter. And now I'm gonna walk up to um, I'm gonna walk up to our little putting green and our tennis courts. I came out a little bit late. I missed some tennis players that were out there. They're out there pretty much every morning. Beautiful colors. Look at the bougainvillea blooming. Look at that. Good morning. Good morning. Isn't that just beautiful? Look at I just love the fuchsia bougainvillea. Definitely spring here. Just want to let everyone know that all of us at Bay of Serena are safe. Here's our workers again, doing a good job. Hola. Hola. Buenos dias, you're on film. Yeah. Turn around and smile. <laughs> there they are, they're hard at work, fixing our, our beautiful Bay of Serena up. <laughs> oh, 
I'm gonna walk through the garden area over here. Hola, there's another one of our landscapers working hard, keeping our our plants beautiful. That's the tennis court and the putting green in the background, and of course this is outdoor parking for B building and overflow parking for C, but there's our front gate and I'll come back to it later. And then we have our back side of the commercial building. We have a landscaper singing. Hola, hola! Buenos dias! Here on film! Here's one of our ponds. Coming up to the putting green, it's off in the distance. Las Plumas in the distance. In the grass area. It's more of the commercial center. Coming back around, tennis courts in the background, putting green, I come down here and use the putting green, I'm trying to keep my game up, it's hard, it's hard not having the golf courses open, I'm petrified over it, and the day that they open it'll be a glorious, glorious day, I know all of us that are in Rocky Point will be out there golfing our hearts out. <laughs> Just look at how beautiful all the flowers are. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah. A little, another little splendid little green, uh, green grass area. Tennis courts. And we also have, um, what do they call it? We have the nets for, um, Jesus, I can't think of the name of it. Pickleball. So those are the pickleball nets. People want, they could bring them out. Okay, I'm gonna do the um, front entrance gate. We have a beautiful front entrance gate. Look at this, isn't this wonderful? I just love walking around this property. We have wonderful workers here. We have wonderful homeowners here. And when um, we do uh, vacation rentals, we do long-term rentals. Of course, I sell real estate. I have a number of listings uh, in each one of the buildings. So if you're interested in this property, you could always give me a call and I can virtual tour uh, one of my listings or any one of the listings that are out there because you really want to be a homeowner on this property. Some people um, have it as their full-time residence. Some people, it's their part-time residence. Other people have it as an investment property, so it's in the vacation rental pool. And you could rent, actually manage your property uh, yourself on Airbnb. Or you could put it with, uh, we have uh, probably four, four or five um, good rental companies, vacation rental companies that people use. So, this is the back side of our front gate, but I'm going to go all the way out. It's our guard. It's our guard house. Check in with the guard and then this is the uh, entrance area to C building. Looking over to D building, Esmeralda half done in the background. They have our um, accessory parking lot and our HOA office is all behind that wall. It's kind of a hazy day. I think we're going to get a thunderstorm later.
There's our guards. Check in with them. Buenos dias! View of the desert across the street. There's the commercial center again. Our beautiful Bella Mermaid. And our entrance. Land vacation rentals are here. There's our check in office, the small building. Let's pan over out. Yep. Just about done with my tour. Down the entrance to C building. And like I was saying, this is the property you really want to own at. I mean, Bella Serena, if you're looking for a condo or a villa, uh, villas are really hard to come by, but we do have, I think, um, offhand 12 properties on the market right now. Probably have um, maybe a couple in each tower. They have one fractional ownership. This is... Uh, our HOA and our maintenance department area. I'm just gonna walk over here and do a, a just a brief, a brief um, little viewing of the pool. That's the mirror image between because we're approaching D building now and coming up to E. So. pan down the street you can see the guy's been working on the yellow curbs beautiful Saturday usually on a Saturday in May like this this place would be hustling and bustling with people in the gym in the pools at the bar yeah, but it's like a ghost town, just like the Rolling Stones song. This is another barbecue pit area. Barbecues are back around the corner there. And beautiful jacuzzi, or hot tub rather. Just gonna pan here. I see these are on the first floor units, a D building, a little close. They have um, really big patios with walkout stairs. So, nice, very, very nice. And here we go. This is the pool between D building and E building. I'm looking off, that's A building in the background. And some villas, swim bar. And I'm almost concluding the video. You can always contact myself, Marianne Arminio, JMP Realty. If you're looking for a beautiful property in Rocky Point, Mexico. The phone number is 541-281-5751 for all your real estate needs. Rentals, sales. I mostly do sales, but I can always refer you to our my rental guys. And I, it's not a problem, there's the gym again. Back panning to swim, and I'm gonna go up the stairs case to um, C building because that's where I'm at. I live, I work, and I play here at Bay of Serena. So, what better person to ask about real estate in this neighborhood? Ask Marianne, she's got the inside scoop on everything <laughs> or almost everything. Not only that, I'm a wonderful person to work with. I get the job done. I'm efficient. 
There you go. Up the stairs. All right. Goodbye from our beautiful Bella Serena. Have a wonderful day.